hi lovelies welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome in today's video i will be reviewing and demoing the melody suzy sparkle rechargeable nail drill and i do have a giveaway hidden in this video melody suzy is sponsoring a giveaway of one of these e-files so definitely watch the entire video for your chance to win but before i continue with today's video let me give a shout out to my notification squad thank you guys so much for being the first three to get in and drop a comment on my last video and i want to say thank you so much to the premiere squad big up yourselves i really and truly love our conversations in the live chat and thank you for joining me at the premiere of this video as well so if you are ready and excited for today's video i know i definitely am then let's go to start off i am going to be doing a really quick unboxing that way we get to see everything that comes with this nail drill so firstly we do have the user manual and this is very handy to have especially if you're a beginner and you're not familiar with the e-file you want to run through this this is your control unit and we will talk a little bit more in detail on that in a minute underneath here we have two boxes filled with stuff so i'm just going to go ahead and take everything out of the box and then we're going to run through each and every item individually so this nail drill comes with two medium grit drill bits a ceramic safety bit and a torch shaped rainbow carbide bits this silicone stand which allows the handpiece to sit on the table as well as this clear handpiece holder which attaches to the drill now this does come with a set of diamond bits usually i only use this one which is the mandrel for my sanding bands and of course you must have your charger and this is a us plug so according to the voltage range on the user manual this is between 100 to 240 volts and finally we have our handpiece which is oh my gosh so adorable i'm actually loving the size of this one compared to the scarlet nail drill that i reviewed in this video it is way smaller however the connector on the end to go into the hand file is the same three prong plug and this handpiece also has that twist system so you twist from lock to unlock until you hear the click for that bit to release and then you twist it back for it to lock into place so now let's talk a bit about the main unit and i do love the fact that they went above and beyond after taking advice to protect the handpiece of itself from being scratched during shipping and i am living for this gloss and matte black it's not really plastic it feels like a metal and you do have your nice sturdy metal belt clip at the back as well at the top of the drill you have your speed control which also controls your on and off your forward and reverse and this is where you're going to plug your motor or your handpiece into and this is that handpiece holder clip that i showed you guys that attaches to the actual file so if you want to make this completely portable you charge it up you clip it on your belt waist and you slip your handpiece into that holder so that way there are no cords attached so i just went ahead and i plugged in the handpiece so we are going to go ahead and power this unit up So as soon as I turn it on, we have a nice big display screen which tells us whether our hand file is in forward or reverse, our battery level as well as rotations per minute. So I'm just going to flick this into forward and as you guys can see, the R turned to F. So I'm going to go ahead and be quiet now so we can test the noise level of this file. Oh 
my word this file is so quiet and as you guys can see i actually have the handpiece all the way up to my phone so therefore we can get the full volume but it is so quiet you're barely hearing anything so i'm just going to plug this in i know the battery is on like 50 something percent but i do want to show you guys what the e-file looks like when it's charging but you can use it while it is charging but once you turn it off as you guys can see you see the battery indicator as well as that charging symbol when it's finished charge that white charging battery goes to green and when you power it on you can see it stays green on the screen but when you unplug it it tells you that it is at a full 100 percent and like that it is fully charged and ready to be used so i am going to be demoing this e-file now i am using the mandrel as i said before and that is all i use in this diamond bit set if you're just beginning you can definitely use the diamond bits that come in this set for me it's just a little bit too fine to actually do the job of removing the cuticles properly I did just apply a 240 grit sanding band and it's not that hard to come up it's actually really firm but still easy to slide that sanding band out which will make it easier for you to interchange when you're changing it out between clients and this is the 10 piece diamond bit set by melody Susie. i mentioned this drill bit set in this video here which is my updated prep video and i absolutely love these diamond bits the quality is better than the set that will come in the e-file kit and i'm not just saying that because i love this one but it is a little bit better so if you want you can definitely go ahead and invest in these as well this one that i'm holding is actually like a flat top mini bit and it's absolutely one of my favorites it's my go-to when it comes to prepping the nails as well as this one it gets into that hard to reach sidewall for those stubborn cuticles and if it is extremely stubborn then i need to be careful with this one because it's really sharp i go in with this pointed cone shaped diamond bit and this gets into those nicks and crannies and just gets everything out as you guys can see these two are a little bit different one is more rounded at the tip the other one is way sharper and you need to be careful with it so as i mentioned before this is a twist to release and lock so you want to rotate that barrel from lock to unlock until you hear that clicking sound once you hear that clicking sound which means that drill bit has released so then you go ahead and you change it out and you insert your new bit and then you go from unlock to lock until you hear that clicking sound again this indicates that now that drill bit has been locked into place and it's safe to use it if you do not hear the click sound then your drill bit is not ready to be changed out nor is it locked into place you have to hear that click in order for it to work so i am going to be demoing the diamond bits on my thumb i'm going to prep it really quickly and i'm using my favorite one of them all this is the mini flat top diamond bit that is what i'm calling it i'm not exactly sure the correct name for it and i'm going to work this into my sidewalls around the cuticle area i am not going to brush over the entire surface of the nail with this now i have not done my nails since this video right here this is the last time that i did my own nails and I have a lot of cuticle buildup. My cuticles grow out so quickly. And whenever I'm working on my natural nails, I usually work with my drill at about 3000 RPMs, which is the lowest speed that this nail drill can go. And that is fine by me because it is within my comfort zone. So now that I'm finished with that bit, I'm going to change it out and put in my sanding band now. And I like to put my sanding band a little bit closer to the tip of the barrel of my hand file. This helps to protect any excess dust from getting inside of your hand piece. Now your hand piece is very important and you need to take care of it. This is like the most expensive part of your e-file. And as of now, I have not seen a replacement on the Melody Suzy website just yet. But I did notice that they have the handpiece replacement for the Scarlet nail drill. Now I really love this handpiece and one thing I didn't mention before is that there is little to no vibration no matter how high the speed was. And I did take this all the way up to 35 thousand rpms which is the highest point of this e-file now no way do i ever even cross 
10,000 RPMs when I'm working with my nail drill unless I am doing a removal and even with that I will probably stick between 9 and 10 RPMs. I go 8 when I'm doing my finish filing between 7 and 8 and then I stick between 3 and 4 or maybe 5 depending on what I am doing with my nail prep. If you feel comfortable working with your e-file at a higher speed by all means you can definitely continue doing that. This is just my comfort zone and this is where I will gauge. So now I'm using that ball bit on the skin around the nail plate and I am working with it at 5000 RPMs because I find like the higher the RPMs when you're doing this step, the cleaner all those excess stubborn dead skins and stuff do come up faster with, and it still does not hurt, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it just feels like a little tickle because I'm not putting any pressure on my hand file at all. You always want to brace your weight. So you guys see the two fingers that I'm anchoring down on my hand with, that is where I'm bracing my e-file, that is where I'm bracing the weight, so therefore I'm not putting any excess weight on the actual hand file. Now if you're used to my videos, you would have seen that I've been using this e-file for about two months now, testing it out just to make sure that I do want to recommend it to you guys, ensure that I don't have any issues with it before I bring you this review and i'm actually really loving it this is my go-to everyday e-file now and i will definitely recommend it to you guys now if you're interested in purchasing this e-file i do have my link in the description box below as well as a 10 percent off discount code this e-file is currently on sale at the moment on the melody suzy website so you do get it discounted plus an additional 10 percent off so definitely if you are a beginner working on a budget i will definitely recommend this to you even if you're a nail tech and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a nail drill and you want something that is really great quality i stand by melody suzy products i've used them for years and they have not given me any reason to doubt the quality of their products to this day but we are going to be giving one of these nail drills away to one lucky winner and i want to thank melody suzy for sponsoring this giveaway now i do have a few simple rules for you guys to follow and yes you must have instagram because that is one of the rules and i will have the links to all social media accounts in my description box it will make it easier for you guys to enter so rule number one is that you must be subscribed to my channel of course and you must be subscribed to the Melody Suzy's YouTube channel. Like this video as well as turn your notifications on and set it to always notify. Follow me at Be Glamorous Nails as well as Melody Suzy on Instagram. And comment your Instagram name in the comment section of this video. That is it. That is all you need to do for your chance to enter into the giveaway. The countdown to the end of the year is on. My birthday month is the month of December. And if you're watching right now and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you click on that subscribe button as well as make sure your notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss out whenever I post a video. I will be having a few more giveaways coming up till my birthday. So definitely stay tuned to these videos. So that is it for me. I hope this video was both helpful and interesting informative and you're having an amazing day or night whatever time it is where you are right now as always i would love you guys to stay glamorous be safe and i'll see you soon